Hey, what's up, guys? It's Big Money, and today we're going to be talking about Oblivion Caves and the the cave designs that are used in Oblivion. So we're going to Shadow Rest Cavern right now to take a look at these um, beautiful caves. I'd just like to appreciate how they're built and how um, Todd Howard put them together. So we go inside. I'm going to turn on TLC so you can see the outer uh, shells of the cave, basically. When you go out, you can see these poles, and it's already you can see a beautiful structure that's happening. Um, you got like the mini mi miniature like uh, walking parts through the cave, and then you got the big main frame which we're walking in right now. Um, that's very beautiful, as you can see. And we're going to go down to the trap door and see what else is down here. So there's an enemy I haven't killed. Don't mind him, but. As you can see, you can have the big mainframe of the cave, and what if this is is um, the big mainframe, like I keep on saying. And there's like a little travel part, which each cave in uh, Oblivion has, and that's a, I think that's a beautiful thing. As you can see, we're going to switch the uh, footage to another another clip, and this is um, the mainframe, as I keep on telling you about. And then it has the switch off to the walking parts of the cave, and I think it's just a beautiful design that Todd Howard did. I really. I really praise him on that. He's a really good video game developer when it comes to inner circles. Here's another clip. You can just see how beautiful these caves are. Just a masterpiece, masterpiece game. It's amazing. It's such a good game. Anyways, that'll be it. Peace.